Hey you guys, today's video is, I'm kind of like really excited, excited, excited. I'm kind of like really excited about this video because I actually like, you know what I'm saying, did some work on this wig and like I'm really happy, like, like I don't know, I'm just really excited about this video, okay? There's nothing like chilling with my girls, just me and my divas taking over the world. I have been waiting to put this wig on for the longest. You guys know I love kinky straight hair, like for real. A company by the name of Lou Hair. We did work prior. This is their packaging real quick. I wanted to show you guys. It's also a satin wig bag up in here. So you do get one of those. Wig grip band, a wig cap, comb, elastic, and another comb up in here. So they did send me a 22 inch 360 lace frontal. But all I know is this I did bleach the front of it myself, okay, with the Clairol color bleach, with the Clairol ice blue bleach for all hair types. And I did use the Salon Care Pro. 30 developer and look listen look at her hunties and i did pre-tweeze the hair line um and i also did pre-tweeze the back too because this is about putting it up in a bun okay and you don't want it to be too thick back there uh, let me tell you about this 360 so prior to like after i wash it and stuff and let it dry um i do put in mark anthony's um coconut oil and i just use a little bit throughout the hair and I parted hot comb section by section by section. Once I'm done, it can take like an hour. I then put it upside down and then I just hot comb it that way too. That way when you put it up in a bun, it's really, you know, smooth. You know what I'm saying? So you wanna make sure you get everything. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna show you real quick how I flatten my wigs. Normally I would do this while sitting down in a chair and I do apologize for the quality because I'm using my phone. So what you wanna do is once you press the entire front, just basically downwards, you want to kind of like flip the wig over and you just want to press upwards. So you want to just basically hold the wig. I find it easier to hold the wig and just hold it downwards and just press downwards. And you want to do this and this will flatten the wig. So I just take my hot comb and I'm just going to go ahead and flip it over and flatten it. This will take a little bit of time. Trust me when I tell you it does take time, but it makes a world of difference because the hair was really thick. You wanna make sure that you don't use or don't put a lot of hair on your hot comb because if you do put a lot of hair on the hot comb, you're going it's going to take several passes just to straighten it out. So I would highly suggest not putting too much hair on the hot comb. It took me about two to three passes for each section that I did. So this is what she looked like. She is looking like, um, it does come with the combs right here, which I did keep in. And like I said, it's a 360. It has the comb and the nape, which is wider and the adjustable straps. So you guys, let's get into this hair real quick. So here's gonna be the fun part, you guys. Um, As you guys see, I just went ahead and applied my wig and I'm gonna just put the combs that are in the front into my cornrows in my hair. This helps my hair from pulling away at my edges. So I'm just checking to see where the wig is at. It's a little bit too big, so I'm just gonna customize it. But first I'm gonna take one of my baby wipes and I'm just going to wipe away any type of makeup and debris that is on my hairline. And now let's get to customizing this lace unit. A lot of times they are um, just basically medium stock sizes and they can be a little bit too big. So I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and I'm just going to part it right above my ear. So that way I don't have a flap or kind of like it's not too big. And I'm gonna take a small pair of scissors and I'm just going to cut away at the part that I made in the unit. And then before I cut it entirely off, I'm just going to cut it right where my ear would end onto my face. So that way I have like a sideburn. And I'm just gonna repeat that on the opposite side. Now it's time to make me some wispy hairs. 
So I'm going to take my rat tail comb once again, and I'm just going to pull out a little bit of the hairs in the front of the hairline. And I'm going to take my eyebrow trimmer and just kind of cut those hairs away. I'm just going to cut in different directions so that way it's not too sharp of a cut and it's not even hairs because, you know, this is like wispy hairs. It's not supposed to be even. So I'm just going to kind of like go up and down with the razor so that way it's uneven. So this part is my sideburn hair and I like them to kind of meet right at my ear. Now girl, let me tell y'all, I got this got to be fantastic styling mousse at the Dollar Tree the other day. Yes y'all, the Dollar Tree. I got six cans of that and then went back today girls and they had the gel and some hairspray. Not the yellow can but the pink cans. But anyway, so I went ahead and took the mousse and used that with my toothbrush and sculpted down my sideburn hairs. Now I'm going to take the got to be clear gel and I'm just going to take a rat tail comb in small droplets I'm just going to smear a little bit on the lace and I'm also going to take my favorite toothbrush and sculpt down my sideburn hairs and once again I let that dry on the back of my hand the gel and I'm just taking a little bit more and just placing it right again onto the lace not the hairs but the lace the only hair that I'm placing it on is the sideburn hairs right here as you guys see me doing once again, which is repeating the steps. Now, just for my wispy hairs, I'm just going to take my toothbrush with no product on the toothbrush. If you do need a little bit of gel, take some that's already laid on the lace and just kind of like dab that onto it. Take your um, pump it up hairspray or whatever hairspray you're going to use and just spray that onto the lace. You don't want to spray it all onto the wispy hairs, but you want to spray it onto the lace. And you don't need a lot, just do a little bit at a time. And you can also use your fingers to dab it in. And you want to take your blow dryer on either cool or medium heat or whatever you can tolerate. And just take your rat tail comb and just press down into the lace with that while you are blow drying the products on your lace wick. Sometimes I like to go, go behind my um, wig, as you guys see right here, and just use a bobby pin, especially if I'm going to go and wear like a high bun or ponytail style. I don't um, adhere it to the nape of my neck because it seems like it never stays, so you know. I'll just pull out a few strands of hair at the nape just so that it's more concealed, and I will go ahead and brush my hair with my paddle brush, and just make sure that you're holding your wig down in place, you know, and... This step is optional, but I'm just trying to get it as flat as possible, guys. But just be careful if you do this not to burn yourself. Now, I'm going to take my silk scarf, and I'm just going to tie that around the edges of my wig. So that way, when I'm doing my ponytail or bun, my hair is still secure. So I'm going to take some of that Mark Anthony's coconut oil, and I'm just going to apply some of that to the ponytail in the front. So that way there's no flyaways and my hair is laying flat as possible. And I'm also going to do that in the back as well. I'm going to take my paddle brush and brush upwards. Let me tell you, all my arms be getting so tired when it comes to making a ponytail. Once you get it going, let me tell you, you just want to keep it like that. So it kills me when I have to wash it. But anyway, that's a different story. I'm going to take my elastic head headband and I'm just going to wrap it around. It's much easier to wrap it around versus taking your hair and pulling it through the actual ponytail holder or, you know, scrunchie. And though this may give you whiplash, just be really careful and make sure that you tie it nice and tight. So this is how it looks in a high ponytail. The hair is nice. It's full, 150% density. I do like it. It does take some work to get it sleek like that. But once you got it going, I'm telling you guys, it'll definitely work. I don't really wear too many wig caps anymore. So that is the reason why you didn't see me put one on. I just prefer not to. And now this is the last final step. I'm going to do my two strand twist. And to secure that, I'm going to take a rubber pan and some bobby pins and wrap this bun around my head, you guys and pin it down so that way it's nice and secure. So 
do you guys have it this is how i do my buns or high up buns or ponytails with a kinky straight wig the hair texture is amazing the hairline was amazing like you really don't have to do too much if you don't want to with the unit because it already comes pre-plugged and a little bit of bleach but hunties i actually really do like the way this came out blue hair has some nice wigs you guys like for real this one is bomb kinky straight is my favorite go-to hair texture i absolutely love it this is a nice texture you know how some of them be like a little bit off you know what i'm saying you can easily flat iron it you know what i mean and you can easily put it up in a bun i think it was like 150 density or 130 but i will post it down below for you guys all the information of where you could pick this unit up at i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay diva and diva delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up and i'll see you guys on the other side Peace.